they give police tire when they see they form roadblock? I be police to get vulcanizer department. We don't know because at night during the day the road is free. At night tire will not come from anywhere. Currently, the governor of Benue State is a reverend father. As I speak to you, Benue State does not have first lady. So that they use deputy governor wife as first lady. The deputy governor called the Ludi Reverend Father said, Are you doing this with my wife? Right now, Benue State is first lady less. As we speak to you, Benue State is the first state that have S free position. They are currently looking for to have a first side chick. Because somebody must fill that position. And things are changing. There is this proverb that says lie or not the bone goods is a lie. Is a lie. I'm not sure that I bet the doji I born your le doji. Because that line of born foul is not the same blood. If you check that guy, but it not be blood, then I'll zobo. How can you have that father and behave like that? Things have changed. A lot of things are happening. When I came to Lagos, I said, no, I want to look like a Lagosian. I want to look smart. They said, go to Yama and buy jeans. I said, good, how much? They said, 115. I said, oh, nice. Went to Yama, entered the guy's shop. I said, you have blue jeans? Say yes. I said, how much? He said, 500. Huh? Why are your jeans cheap? He says, doing sales. I say, give me six shades of blue. This boy that God will punish. Give me six blue jeans. I went home, brought us six jeans from nylon. These were sold six yellow jeans for me. My roommate said, you want to join last month? I said, no. He said, why did you buy yellow jeans? I said, in the shop, the jeans was blue. My roommate said, was there blue lights in the shop? I said, yes. He said, the guy does not have blue jeans. It's the lights that is changing the color of the jeans. I say, wow, 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 what do I do? He said, go back. I went back. I saw guy, you saw yellow jeans on me. He said, no. He saw black. I said, you saw yellow jeans. He said, where is it? Inside the shop. I brought it out. He didn't change back to blue. He said, what did I saw a guy? It is blue. Yeah. I said, let's go outside. The guy said, I don't sell outside. <laughs> I said, they've robbed me. <laughs> you know, when I, first got, when I first got to Lagos, Lagos was stressful. I was going to church, house on the rock, midweek service. I don't know Lagos now. One of my friends said, man, I just got a house. I said, where? He said, Iba. I said, see the name, no longer, no far. <laughs> I was lucky. 8 p.m. I said, yeah, let's go and see your new house. We enter bus. 9 p.m. We go to TBS. I said, is this Iba? He said, one more bus. We enter BRT bus, go to my two. Around 12 o'clock. I say, is this Iba? He said, the last one. That was when I knew we were traveling. You know those yellow bus where they get space so they, they keep back on top? I asked them, how much for transport fare? They say 500. I said, no. I came from Enugu. 500 takes you from one state to another state. Inside Lagos, after two trips. I said, yeah, let's be going. 130. I asked conductor, where we do it? He said, Alaba. Where is Iba? He says in front. Inside that bus, one guy wore suit coming back from work. I asked the guy, my brother, where do you stay? He said, after Iba. Eh? <laughs> one thirty, we've not reached Iba. When you they reach house, he said, three thirty. When do you wake up and come back to work? He said, four o'clock. <laughs> so when you they go home, he said, I just want to use my rent. <laughs> I said, I'm going to go kill you. You know this Lagos, everything is packaging. My friends saw me so oh, forever, you are doing great. I see you on TV, you are doing great things as a comedian. Oh, I said, what about you? See my brother, I meet some marine engineer. Ah, I said, what? Nice. Where do you work? He said, the cash fish. I said, marine engineering. Another friend said, oh, bro, you're doing great. I said, what do you work? And I said, telecoms. Ah, so you work with Glow? He said, no, I said, recharge card. <laughs> telecoms, everything in Lagos is packaging. Telecoms so packaging. You know that I went for a couple of retreats. Pastor said the women in the church were complaining that their husbands are no longer romantic like they used to be before they got married. Pastor asked the women, now that you and your husbands are here, when was the last time your husband carried you on his lap to show you love? <laughs> the first man said, Pastor, if not for the MC on our wedding day that told him to carry me on his lap, he has not tried it again. 
Pastor said, when did you marry? She said, 1975. Eh? They asked the when was the last time my husband carried you on his lap? She said, I won't lie. I was the one that carried my husband on my lap yesterday to apologize for an offense I did not commit. They asked the final man, when was the last time your husband carried you on his lap? He said, well, my husband carried you on his lap twice. He didn't say, wow, a round of applause. They clap for the man. So why does he carry in his lap? In the parlor or in the bedroom? He said, no, he's on the bus as we go shop for money. And when we are coming back in the evening to save transport, lap is lap, whether you like it or not. When I first came to Lagos, 2012, July 26, we make it 11 years. They told me from Enugu that for you to make it as a comedian, you must come to Lagos. Carrying my bag from Enugu, July 26, I cannot forget. Entered one bus, 3,000. I passed five states and seven rivers. I counted it. I got to Jibo at 8.30 p.m. I told cabman, take me to a Jibo. Cabman said, three, two. I said, oh, God, wait. I just used 3,000 to pass five states. Inside Lagos to Lagos, so I charged him a three, two. And he asked me one question I have not forgotten. When you enter, did you see welcome to Lagos? I said, no. He said, what did you see? I said, I saw this is Lagos. He said, nine be this. <laughs> that night, I took bike. Who they blow with? See the time here now. That night, I took bike to Ejibo, one seven. I told my friend, I'm tired of squatting. I need to get my house. Henry, oh, woman, wherever you are, go with church. That way deceived me. He said, let's get good houses at the Korodu. He took me to a Korodu around 12 o'clock, so the road was free. I said, ah, there's even no traffic on this side. I didn't know that the people that called the traffic have not closed from work. I now saw house 72,000. I paid, called my friend that lives in Lagos. I said, bro, I have gotten a house in Lagos. The guy said, so quick. I said, I got he said, why did you get the house? I said, the Kurudu, and he made a statement, my friend, you just went back to the east. <laughs> I did not understand until the following morning. Following morning, I was at a Greek bus stop. Bus was full by 8, by 10, bus have not moved. Uh -uh. I asked the man, next to me, I said, okay, which kind of traffic be this today? He said, remove today. Every day. Eh? And I came to stay here. He said, where's the alternative raft? I said, Shagamu. I said, no, not your radio. Go, no, Jota. He said, you be patient. And I saw a guy wait to before I came to Lagos. I saw buildings of high rise structures. I'm not seeing it on this side. He said, You can't see it. I said, Why? He said, Lagos is divided into two parts island and mainland. I said, What's the difference? He said, Island is for the rich, mainland is for the upcoming rich. I saw a guy, Where are we? He said, We're on other lands. I said, Wait, so I'm not even close to making it. He said, are you surprised? I said, yes. He said, how much is your house rent? I said, what does my house rent have to do with whether I'm in Lagos or not? He said, okay, how much is your house rent? I said, 72,000. He said, your mind tell you, say so you're in Lagos, eh? I said, does Lagos have minimum house rent? He said, yes. I said, how much? He said, from 250 upwards. I said, okay, don't lie to me. Where exactly am I? He said, okay, we are at the Jebode extension. And I said, this lucky, I will find them. And actually, anybody you call in Lagos, say, hey, before, they not, hey, before you call, call me, don't go. You will declare that journey. I said, let me shock my friend, Williams. I now call Williams on my way. I said, bro, I'm coming to your house. He said, why you not tell me? I said, I want you to surprise you. He said, you will be shocked. He said, why are you now? I'm a jack on day. Keep coming. I said, I've reached Chevron and about Maintain Street. I said, I'm at a jack talking. Pass it. I said, I'm a big city now. He said, you're on track. Uh -uh. I said, I'm at Aja. He said, climb the bridge. I said, I've reached Abraham. I said, around the back. He said, don't buy fish. Just be coming. I go to Lagos Business. I said, my brother, I'm a, I've reached Lagos Business School. He said, just follow the green and white bus. I said, is this lucky? He said, what did they write on the signboard? I said, hey, you lucky. He said, now the papa be that. Be coming. I said, I'm at Aja. Yeah, yeah. He said, you're on track. Lakwe, he said, follow them. Ekbe, he said, go, turn right. I said, every Jebo there, he said, you are coming to Benin. I've given you a video that made you laugh. All I need for you to do right now is to click subscribe and so that whenever I post new videos, you'll be the first to know that there is a new funny video for you to laugh today. Forever.